Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day today. Um, it's really hot here in the sunshine state of Florida. So I thought, what not a better time to do a sweat proof, waterproof, if you will, more like a heat resistant foundation routine. So I'm going to do a full face of um, products that I would reach for, gravitate towards um, when it's really, really hot. Uh, mind you, if I'm going to spend the whole day outside, I probably really honestly will not wear makeup on my face. But there are, you know, occasions where I want to look put together, so I will put on makeup. So what I'm going to do today is just my summertime foundation routine. Like I said earlier, most of the time during the summer, um, which here in Florida, it's like summer weather pretty much all year round. So if I'm gonna be outdoors, I'll stick to a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer and maybe some concealer and call it a day. But um, yeah, so today I'm going to do this uh, foundation routine for you. So if you wanna see how I do it, then just stick around. So the foundation that I'm going to use today um, is a new foundation to me and this is the L'Oreal Paris um, Infallible Pro Matte Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. So this is an oil free foundation which is great for me since I have oily skin. This is a demi matte finish air light oil free. So the shade I got is 108 Caramel Beige. So. I don't know. It seems to be like an said, okay match. It's a demi matte finish. It's supposed to wear up to 24 hours. I don't know anybody that wears foundation for that long, but the fact that it's a 24 hour uh, foundation tells me that it's long wearing and it'll probably withstand Florida weather. So, um, it says that it's a medium coverage and that it's air light as far as the texture. So, like I said, it's got oil control and all that good stuff. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, before I apply the foundation, um, you know, you really want your makeup to stick and stay in place when you're going to be outside and sweating and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to use this Smashbox, uh, what is it called? Photo Finish Primer Water. So this is just a sample that I received in a subscription box. So I'm just gonna take this and, oof, I don't know if I'm applying too much, but just spritz this on my face and I'm gonna let it sit for a few seconds while it kinda sinks in and dries a, a little bit. So um, I have very uneven skin. Uh, skin tone. I have a lot of blemishes from previous uh, scarring from acne and that sort of thing. But this is a silicone free, alcohol free, oil free primer. So um, this is also a new product to me. I want to purchase the full size product. Um, I like it so far. I've only used it twice. So, so far so good. And now that I've applied this, I'm going to use another product that I received in a monthly subscription service and this is my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. So again, um, this is oil free and this is going to help the longevity of our foundation and yeah, I just threw that um, and I just spat. Okay, so I'm going to gra grab a mirror so that I don't have to use my viewfinder. I also and already I have my brows on and, um, you know, going with the whole waterproof, sweatproof, um, whatever, whatever. I am using my It Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil, but another one that is really good is um, I use the Sephora Waterproof Eyebrow Pencil. So, you know, it's really personal preference, but we're going for long wear here. So this product stays put. It's pretty good and I like it so far. So make sure your hands are clean and I'm just going to take some of this primer and put it onto my face. What I like to do is just take little tiny dots and mainly just um, put it in my T-zone area, really focusing on my cheeks because that's where I have the largest pores. 
So I'll usually take a little bit extra onto my cheek area and just apply it like that. Not really, I'm gonna blend it in. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for a second while I grab my brush and my foundation. Okay, so to apply the foundation, I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Expert Face, face, face Brush. I've really been loving my Real Techniques brushes. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I don't know if I'm supposed to shake this or not. So this is kind of like a first impression kind of deal. Um, so I'm just gonna shake it because I don't know if it's like separated or anything. It shouldn't since it's oil free. And I'm just going to squeeze some out on my fingertips like this and then just kind of dot it on my face, which I really probably shouldn't do this because I don't know how fast this is gonna set. But we'll make it work. So I'm just gonna dot this onto my skin like so. And I'm using my viewfinder so I can't really tell if brush I'm and kind of stipple it and blend it at the same time. Um, I don't know if this is the right color for me. I'm going to move quickly because it's kind of setting and yeah. But we'll make it work. It looks a little orange. I don't know. Oh, that's nice. I swear if it's not the kids, it's the dogs. Okay, so that is one layer of what this foundation looks like. Um, I agree with it being a medium coverage. I'm not real happy with the shade. I think the shade is a bit orange for me, but I always, I always feel that way when I'm like filming a first impression. Um, foundation so we'll see how it settles and oxidizes and all that good stuff so I'm just gonna continue on it's whatever um, I'm not gonna put on another layer just because this is a summertime foundation routine so we don't really want to cake on the face products like that um, just because it could become a hot mess um, if you're not careful um, dealing with the Florida heat is no joke. Uh, so yeah. I'm just gonna, Next up, for concealer, um, I'm gonna keep the Real Techniques brush, but I also went ahead and grabbed the Flawless Concealer brush from e.l.f. just to really spot blend in specific areas. But I've got my Revlon um, Photo Ready Stick Concealer, and this is in the shade medium, so it looks like this. And then I also have this Visible Lift um, L'Oreal Paris Concealer. Uh, it's one of the corrector pins because it's really lightweight. So I'll use this under my eyes and then use this to um, conceal any blemishes on my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this stick, uh, Visible Lift Concealer from L'Oreal, the lightest one. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of this under my eye just to kind of help correct the um, the darkness under there. This will help brighten it up a tad bit. Like I said, I'm not going to apply too, too much because this is a summertime Florida weather uh, routine. But I'm just going to use it to highlight and conceal just a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit you know, on the middle part of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, right here on my cupid's bow, and a little bit on the bottom part of my chin. So that is all that I'm going to place this concealer because I don't want to go too heavy. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. concealer um, brush to kind of tap and feather it out. This stuff is really, really lightweight, so it's great for summertime uh, heat. Um, it's not real heavy at all. So I'm just gonna feather this out and blend it like so. So now I'm gonna go in with my Photo Ready Stick Concealer and I'm gonna use this to spot conceal some of my blemishes which I have a lot of. Uh, 
it is what it is, right? And just kind of tap it. I'm not really blending it because I don't want to move the concealer. I want it to stay where I've got it since this is spot concealing. <laughs> To okay, set okay. my concealer, my under eye area, I'm going to use my NYX, um, oh, what is this thing called? Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And what I'm going to do, and this is one of those brushes that came in that new set that I was talking about from Real Techniques. It's the setting brush. So I'm actually going to blend um, these two middle shades here on the top. I'm going to mix those together and use that to set my under eye area make sure you tap off the excess and I'm just going to tap this right underneath the eye just like that okay now that that's done I'm actually going to use um, my Rimmel Stay Matte powder, powder and this one is in the shade Creamy Beige and I'm going to use this e.l.f. Kabuki Face Brush and I'm going to use this powder to actually set the rest of my face. i um, not going to take a whole lot and I'm just going to lightly, I'm not blending it, I'm just going to lightly um, tap this onto wherever I applied foundation basically. Um, like I said, I don't want to put too much of this on because you will end up with cake face if you live in Florida. And nobody wants a cake face. At least I don't. I don't know. I don't know. If that's your thing, you do you, but you do you, boo. Okay? You do you. So I'm going to just lightly tap this onto my face to set everything. If I'm going to be out and about and like I said earlier to be honest with you in the daytime if I'm if I'm going to like um some sort of festival during the day I will not put all this shit on my face. I'm just I'm just letting you know. I will go bare face with all my blemishes showing because I do not like to sweat and have a whole lot of makeup on my face. I just don't like it. It's not a pretty look for me so yeah. But if I do wear whatever 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 okay so I'm not gonna do like a heavy contour or anything like that but I do want to bronze up the skin and put some color back into my face so what I'm gonna use is this Tarte um, I got this in a, a subscription service as well this is the Park Avenue Princess it's a uh, Amazonian clay waterproof bronzer so it looks like that and I'm gonna use this to bronze up the skin and just go a little heavier in the hollows of my cheek but I'm not like doing a, a whole heavy contour or anything like that but I'm using this because it is um, waterproof so just you know taking it from like the top of the ear mid mid face and just like that I'm gonna blend it onto my cheek area so just like so. And then I'll start blending around the perimeter of my face like the temples and a little bit on the forehead. I'll take some down the jawline, blend a little down my neck. And then I'll just take the very tip of the brush right here and take a little bit on the sides of my nose. Um, not being very precise, just putting it on there as you can see. Take a little bit on the tip of my nose and then whatever is left over, I'll just really dust over my face, my entire face. Just like that, okay? It may look a little heavy now, but we're going to blend uh, a little blush more. I'm going to take this Real Techniques uh, blush brush and this is also a water resistant blush. This is Los Cabos by Cargo. I also got this in a subscription box. Um, as you can see the makeup that I get, well 
pretty much all the makeup, not all the makeup, pretty much all the products that I get in my um, sample services, I really put to use. So this is a beautiful coral, orangey, perfect summer shade. So I'm just going to swirl my brush around in there. And as you can see, it's very, very pigmented. So make sure you tap off the excess. And I'm just going to start at the apples of my cheek and blend this back just like that. So it's going to give you a nice color. It's got a very, very subtle sheen to it. Um, not a whole lot, but just a little bit. I know it looks a little cray, but we're going to blend it out. Don't you worry. Back to my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. I'm going to blend everything together. Just to contour. Like I could totally take, um, you know, one of these shades here, pretty much any of these shades along the bottom and just really carve out the cheekbones, but I'm not going to. I will do a little bit of a highlight. So I'm gonna take a mix between this and this. So the two outer shades, and I'm just gonna very, very lightly highlight the tops of my cheekbones. Y'all see that glow? So just like that, I'll take some down the center and very tip of my nose. Sorry, I keep looking in my mirror off to the side. My bad, y'all, my bad. So just taking this along the tops of the cheek. I'll do a little bit above the eyebrows, just whatever is left over, just to give you that nice, healthy glow. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here's the finished look. If you want to see how I created the makeup look, I did a tutorial using um, my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. So if you want to see how I created this look, I'll link that tutorial in the down bar if you want to check it out. But this is the finished look and I hope you all enjoyed this first impression foundation routine whatever you want to call it. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.